World Championships. Well, our first live commentary gets underway, as mentioned, with the women's singles final. There you can see the route to the final. Anna Mishak has had a very good run, not dropping a single set until the semi-finals, where she dropped a set against uh, Amelie Julianne. She's up against Carolyn Greco. And without further ado, let's introduce our co-commentator for the day, uh, Tim White. Tim, it's been a good run by both Shaq and Greco, but it all comes down to this. The battle for the World Championships is about to begin. It is, and it's good to see, as you said, James, we've got so much representation and uh, different nations reaching the finals, five finals, six different countries represented, and also a gala match featuring the team from Thailand that we've been really excited about this week. Not quite at the same level as some of the more experienced teams around, but we will kick off, as you said, in the Tech Ball World Championship Finals, finals day here in Nuremberg, with the match between Izak of Hungary, the 26-year-old against Carolyn Greco, a little older, a little bit more experienced, the Californian representing the United States. And you could, e you could easily make an argument for both of these young women to take the World Championship. Izak, maybe a little out of form, you know, fourth in Budapest most recently, whereas Greco made the final before losing out to Janicek after taking the first set and hoping to make amends today. And I think that Greco might start slight favourite in this one, but maybe you disagree? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult to say. Uh, Anna Ishak is having such a great season, obviously the reigning world champion in singles. But as you mentioned, it's not been at her absolute best form. But here she is making her way out onto the field of play. And she's been such an influential figure in this women's singles circuit, as Tim mentioned. Fourth place in the World Series in Krakow, fourth place in European Tech Ball Tour in Budapest. The crowd up on their feet in anticipation of this, the women's singles final coming up next. And out next is Caroline Greco from the United States of America, coached by Frankie Diaz, normally a mixed doubles partner, but unable to take part in this competition as a result of the torn calf. These two composing of the FC, their tech ball club, but also Caroline Greco, first ever all-female tech ball club, Bella Tech. And of course, the history of this sport. She's fourth in the rankings in singles, but first in women's doubles. And represents the United States of America, the state of California. It's Ishak versus Greco, coming up live. Our first commentary of the day. So the coin toss comes in and we just wait to see who will serve first. James Carolyn, of course, is uh, ranked only fourth in the world against the defending champion who is ranked number one in your picture there, Anna Izak. But uh, Carolyn Greco is ranked first in women's doubles and has become a real all-round player since switching from being a regular football player to tech ball and concentrated in the latter years on this fastest growing sport in the world. And here you can see some of Anna Izak's statistics. She's lost just one set on the route to this final against Amelie Julian from France. In the semi-finals, 157 centimetres tall, right-footed player, a foot net player originally. And there you can see her opponent today, Caroline Greco. 168 centimetres is the taller of the two players. Hasn't dropped a single set so far on the route to this final. Was uh, second place in the European Tour in Budapest, losing to Janet Janacek in the final. Who, of course, hasn't qualified for this year's World Championships. A bronze medalist last year in Gliwice. And Tim, just talking a little bit about the rules. We have VR, the VAR in place today. The rules have changed a little bit uh, from how they have been previously in the season. Yeah, uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, the point scoring system. How many players? How many points players need to win a set, and, and how some of these rules work? Yeah, we're just about to get underway. So very quickly, it's 12 points to win a set now, and if it gets to 11 all, it's just sudden death. No two-point margin needed unless it gets to a final third set in any of the events. VAR has been trialled. They made a slight alteration today. Both players or teams in the doubles matches have just First one service. appeal each, which they keep if they are successful with the appeal. Izak with the serve. Greco plays herself out wide. Attempts to smash it and Point too powerful PRC. for Izak. Just worth mentioning, both players 
have four serves before it switches. As Tim mentioned, first to 12. And of course, the advantage is usually with the server. It's two serves. Four serves. Jack with her first serve, losing that first point, and the first serve clipping top of the nets and then bouncing over. Second service. You can hear a very, very vibrant atmosphere here in. I, th I this thought they might stop the drumming. That could just annoy me. I hope it doesn't annoy our viewers too much later Four. in the day. Wow. Greco. Approaching aggressively in the early stages of this first set. It was an edge ball, wasn't it? So they replay the point. Oh, no, it's been given no, it's a side ball. Yeah, Four she serves. crossed the line as well. So there's a few faults there from Greco. In comes the serve from Michelle. Oh. You can see she puts quite a lot of spin on that so, which generates quite a bit of momentum off the table. In comes the second serve, lost it up high. Greco chests it, plays herself out wide and heads it into the middle of the table. She'll then be able to return with the foot for her next shot. If it comes, it doesn't, it hits the side of the table, side to her edge ball called, and the point will be repeated. Yeah, if it's a side ball, you lose the point, but if it has just clipped the edge, the point Four is drums. replayed. I can't so, hear the referee at times, though, James, with these drummers, I've got to be honest. So Greco plays it back into the middle of the table. Somewhat reserved there is Jack a bit more aggressive and Greco has to play with her foot there because you can't have the same body part returning the ball. Fantastic arena here James, the Kia First Metropole service. Arena staging a major event for the very first time, brand new facilities. Great serve that from Jack and you can see how that spin that she generates from her serve puts her opponent under pressure. It's three out of four from the Jack serve. Change of service. The reigning world champion. Off to a great start here, Tim. And now the pressure goes to Greco, who has to win a big chunk of her service. serves here. Yeah, she does, because the advantage of the server is more pronounced in the men's game, where there's more on the ball from the serve. But uh, Greco will be reasonably happy at this stage, as long as she doesn't go four or five points behind. She's pulled one back straight away. Full service. So, Greco. Less spend a little bit more time for the serve, and Jack struggling with that at the moment. It's two straight points then for Greco. The atmosphere here is fever pitch level. Full service! World Cup fever has certainly spread into the World Championships. And wow. the aggressive smash out wide from Jack is just too powerful. Come on, Greco. Posts into a 4 3 advantage. Full service! Well, it's going to be interesting during the doubles match just to see how the players are going to Net. communicate with this loud atmosphere because they're going to struggle to, service. to talk to each other. But well, They might be running out of steam, the drummers. <laughs> slowly quieting down, isn't it? Jack plays himself up wide, heads up oh. to the back of the table to go wide. That's four out of four for Greco. And that is a really, really strong serving start from the service. California. Yeah, it is. She gets a lot of spin, as you mentioned during the commentary, James. A little bit more, I think, than most opponents Full in the service. women's game. I guess it is nearly Christmas. Twelve drummers drumming Out. behind us, James. Second service. I'm wondering when the pipers are coming in. So, lofted up high. Greco heads it to the back of the table. Jack. Tries to pull the harvester, but pulls it short. It bounces the wrong side of the net. She's struggling here, the Hungarian, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, she really is. After what was quite a strong start, she's now lost five consecutive points. There you can see the spin generated from that serve. Greco's ready for that, though. She's done her homework. There's the smash, and that's more like it. From Jack, Greco Ooh. just stops the ball. Thought she was over the net. Sure she was over halfway here. We're going to see the replay. It's so difficult hearing the uh, referee. And well, there you yeah, the, the point has gone the way of Greco, actually. Yeah. So that's a good spot there, Tim. She's crossed the uh, orange line. You can see down the middle of the player crosses that, then they lose the point. So There are two referees. One you can see on your screen service. and one alongside us to double-check the decisions, particularly regarding the net at halfway. Greco managing to keep herself in. Jack's in trouble here, and the ball drops somewhat tamely at the back of the table. I tell you what, Carolyn Greco Seven is points. really, really putting her stamp of authority down on this final. She had a clean sweep of her four serves. She's taken the first three of Ishak's four here. Crucial point this for Ishak to try and somehow save a little bit of four momentum. Service. Greco bouncing up and down on the spot in anticipation of this serve. In it comes. 
Oh, that's a great serve. We ne well, she needed that. She certainly did. Well, a few years ago, Carolyn Greco said she wanted to be world champion in 2020, 2021 and 2022. Well, COVID thwarted her and everyone else's chances in 2020. In 2021, she didn't quite get there, bidding for a first ever world title now and in pole position 8-4. Yeah, she's always had high hopes. Carolyn Greco. Oh, brilliant stuff. Manages to get it back. Jacques plays it short. Greco's there, though, and can attack now, potentially with the head. It clips top of the net and goes to the back of the table. Jacques drops it into the middle. Now a chance for Greco to attack. She uses her shoulder. You can't repeat again with the same body part. Here we go. Greco out wide. Heads it. And that's just too good. Very tactical play that from Greco. Working away around the table, using the different body parts, switching between head, shoulder, knees and toes. And has once again put pressure on her opponent, just three points away from this opening set. Sometimes in finals, Greco does look a little bit nervous, but she's come out all guns blazing here. That serve is long. So far, all the world championships have been in Europe, and Greco made the decision earlier this summer to stay out here in Europe in preparation for these world championships in November. Have those decisions made a difference? Well, Greco really is playing well here in a spot of bother here. Can she find the table? She does brilliantly from the back of the court. What can Ijak do in return? It's long and it's another point going away of Greco, who is now just two points away from this opening set. Managing the play from all around the arena. Brilliant defensive work, wasn't it? Putting the pressure on Ishak. She knew she had to win that point. And it was a poor error, really, with the final header. Greco is absolutely steamrolling her way to this first set. Ishak hasn't really got much in response. And again, a smash this time, bouncing off the top of the net. And it sets up seven set points for the Californian. Yep, and uh, Ishak just that little dip in port form in the last few events. Catching up with her again here, hasn't made the final, hasn't even got on the medal rostrum in the last two. Here we go then, set point, the serve comes in, it's too strong for Ishak, and Greco absolutely storms past with a dominating 12-4 first set. Carolyn Greco has really put pressure on the reigning world champion, and I'll be going to see a bit of a surprise here. It's Greco 1, and Ishak 0. So one more set to become world champion in women's singles for Carolyn Greco, the likeable 29-year-old from California. And she's on the verge of finding gold here after a masterful first set. Did not panic after losing three of the first four points. Came right back and won 11 of the next 12, which at this level in a final is almost unheard of. Well, both players locked in conversation with their respective coaches as we take a look at the statistics and look at those service stats from Carolyn Greco. 100% of second serve points won, 75% of first serve points won. It's clear where the difference is here. Unforced error as well, it's eight against two. And Carolyn Greco is just playing absolute optimum tech ball at the moment. Anna Shack, though, so experienced, especially at this level. We'll bounce back for sure. So back underway then in this second set. Carolyn Greco will serve. In comes serve from Carol then, is Jack. Plays it out wide. It's not been working for her so far, but she tries something a little bit different with the harvester rather than the smash, just like we saw so much of going away in the first set. Greco out wide. Shoulders the ball back into play. Is Jack now with the smash. Greco's there, takes the power out of the ball and manages to get it back, but Jack is dominant in this point so far. Greco chests it just into the middle of the table. Wonderful defense here. Is Jack now a chance with the attack? And that's more like it. Is Jack. Off to a great start much in this more second positive. set. Sorry, James, yeah, much more positive right from the off. I think the coaches must have said, come on, come out there. Maybe a little nervous, certainly tentative in the first set. Mind you, the first set started pretty well for her. She has to keep up that level, though, throughout the second. Yeah, this is going to be interesting if Ishak can find her true form. You wouldn't put it past her taking this second set and going to the decider. At the moment, Greco is the favourite based on that first set, but Jacques seems to have come out 
with a little bit more fire in her belly. That's going to be over the line, and it's wide anyway. So, Greco gets herself on the board early on. Crowd turning out in their numbers to watch this final. So, Greco now with her third serve. And Jacques heads it back into play. Greco out wide, finds the back of the table. Jacques drops it short. Greco picks it up, has to make sure she doesn't cross the line, which she does. An excellent footwork there from the American. Play to the back of the table. Good rally, this. Shaq going out wide. We'll look to try and see this off with a smash. Oh, it's unlucky from Greco. Got her feet a little bit tangled there. Great play from Shaq. Good tactics out wide. And in doing so, has won the point. She looks more focused this half. She does, just uh, actually looking at Frankie in uh, Caroline's corner and uh, telling her to be more aggressive herself. Don't let the Hungarian come at you and uh, try and get a bit more angle on the header, I think he was saying there as well. And when you see your opponent raise your level and become more positive, James, it just seems to be affecting Caroline here, getting fewer yeah. first serves in. It's getting into her head, isn't it? Well, no one expected Anna and Jacques not to bring something more to this final. And she's up to a game in the second set. We've got a real match in our hands. Oh, and she's illegal attack. Illegal attack. She's crossed the line. So Greco just has to ride out this little spell of pressure here. Think back to the beginning of the first set. Ishak was quite dominant in those early stages. It soon turned around. But after the first service routine, it's two points all. Can Ishak now work on that first serve, work on that second serve, put pressure on the American? First serve is out, and you'll see now she takes a few steps second back service. and will use the knee to get as much loft and height on this second serve, but accuracy to make sure it's not a double fault or a captain's fault, as it's affectionately known in tech ball. Clipping the top of the net, but Jack's there. There's the smash. Greco under a bit of pressure here, but she's so good from this position and getting it back. Chests it. It's a bit long, and we're seeing a few more errors creeping into the Greco game. Yeah, she was a bit hamstrung there, wasn't she? She'd used the head already, had to try another body part, and the only one she could get any control over at all was the chest. But uh, normally she returns pretty well with the head from distance. Good all-round game, Greco. Good defender and good attacker. And Jack's got some real weapons in their locker there, hasn't she? And we may be starting to see her unleash a few of those. Second serve, Second serve is difficult to get back. First is more aggressive, obviously. It straight away puts the opponent a little bit further back from the table, but that's good work from both players. In fact, is Jack managing to get down low to the table to keep this point alive? But the momentum is with Greco at the moment, but Jacques makes herself into a position. Great defence from Greco at the back there. Surely she can't get it back from here, can she? She angles her head, but it drops short. And Anna Jack is starting to lay down her dominance in this final. Great women's singles final here. The first of five finals to bring you live here from Nuremberg. Yeah, last year she won the title. A bit of a surprising final, actually, when she was taking on Paulina Lejak of Poland. It was the first staging of the women's singles at the World Championships. Ooh, just dropping inside the net. Do want to see a little bit more aggression from Greco in this second set, which we saw there. Again, it's just pushing her opponent into mistakes. Yes, yeah, she, she looked straight at her coach then when she played that header. That's did. exactly what he was telling her to yeah. do before. But these two, don't forget, are mixed doubles partners, unable to compete because Frankie has picked up a injury, a torn calf. Oh, that's unlucky from Greco. She used the outside of the shoe. That's nothing worth panicking about at the moment. She will take the ball back and serve. The gap between the two players is just two. A good service routine from Greco here could bring her back into things. She can't afford to lose more than a couple of points in this service routine, you wouldn't have thought. Greco with the serve up high. It's a fault, certainly her. Serving hasn't been as consistent as it was in that first set. It's difficult to keep that level of momentum going for a whole match. Opting for two lofted knee serves up high. Greco a bit more aggressive with the head there, and that seems to be working for her. Yeah, definite tactic there. Um, taking a little bit off on the first serve, opting for a more defensive and loopy serve, as you said, with first and second serve there. And it's uh, setting up the opportunity for her to go in close with her second touches in the rally and finish it off with the head. That's the idea anyway. Greco is set to the good. Who gets an edge ball. 
We will see the first serve. Greco a little later in the mixed doubles, of course. As you said, not able to play in the men's doubles. In the, uh, sorry, not. mixed doubles. In the women's <laughs> doubles, we'll see her. There's the smash. Greco's there. She's got a bit lucky there. In fact, she's really read that situation well because it tapped off her body twice, which would have meant that that would have been four touches rather than the three. And that's allowed. That's a clever play from Greco there. She's so quick on her reaction. It's one of her biggest strengths. Just got a glimpse there on camera of Frankie. He has her coach. Shaq playing herself out wide. She's gone oh. a little too wide there, and the smash is always going to be more difficult when you're that far away from the table. And Greco levels the second set. It's five apiece. And we're seeing some good resolve from the Californian here. Following her California dreams, wanting to become a world champion for the first time. This is where the nerves will start to sink in for both players as we potentially approach the business end of this match if it is to be decided with just the two sets. Greco think, would like that, I'm sure. I think that's the first real genuine error that she's made that wasn't forced, if you like, there from Greco. She should have easily got that one over the net. Jacques out wide, needs it into the middle of the table. Greco able to attack with the head, but Jacques ready for that one and manages to get herself back into a position to get the ball back on the table without being too aggressive. Greco with the smash out wide, too strong for Jacques. And the scores are now six apiece as we head back to Jacques for her serve. This is an intriguing final. Momentum now really, really will make a difference. Greco will want to put the kind of levels of pressure on the Shaq serve that we saw in that first set. Played up high. Greco will chest this, play out wide, and you would imagine head it. Oh, she tries a harvester. Was in a few minds there as what to do. Another unforced error from Greco. That was a big point to lose. It was because if she had nudged her head there, when she got ahead in the first set, she just didn't look back. And Ishak's confidence was a little bit ruined. So here we go. That's... Very well done from Greco. Another harvest this time with her foot worked out to her advantage. She's now in the ascendancy in this rally, but Ishak has brought herself back into it. There's the smash. She's going to have to get down low to keep this going. Chest it back into the middle of the table. Ishak out wide now. Great point this. In comes the smash again. But Greco is there and heads it to the middle of the table. Ishak out wide and drops it short. Good footwork from Greco. Wonderful point this between these two players in the women's singles final. And Jack looking to get the job done. Chance now potentially for Greco to attack it, but it's very reserved from both players. Neither one loses point. There comes a smash from Jack. Greco is there at the back of the table. She'll chest this one back into the middle. Safety first. And Jack out wide again. And this time heads it. Greco has to get down low. Plays out wide. Very, very, very reserved. Rally this from both players. As Jack now. Oh, she's got her feet all muddled up there. And in the end, patience pays dividends. And Greco with a huge point to level the tie at seven all in this second set. Longest rally of the match by far. A mixture of aggression and nerves, I think, as well. And Ishak just didn't know whether she had time to get another touch before it went towards the net. She might have been over the halfway line had she done so anyway. Really reserved play that from Greco. Maybe that's what she needs to do, force her opponent into more mistakes. Ishak just needs to carry on doing what she's doing. Despite the fact the scores are seven all, feels like she's the better player in this no. second set. Certainly a big improvement from second her performance service. in the first set. She's a little bit slow on the off, but has pushed her opponent all the way here in the second set so far. Good defense from Ashak, who then returns with another smash. And that one's too strong for Greco. Nothing you can do about that one other than get in the way. Big point now for Ashak to win. She needed that one. Yeah, even the American's coach was applauding there because his girl did nothing wrong. Just uh, Carlin couldn't control the power that Ijak gets and a lot of power for a relatively small young woman. 11 centimetres differential in height between the two. Oh, and that's a captain's fault. That's the nerves. Yeah, well, it's the first one we've seen this match and it's come at a hugely significant part of the match. We are about to see the change in serve. And Greco now with a real chance to grab this women's singles final by the scruff of the neck, looking for her first world championship title. Oh, good play. Oh, it's just too strong. Really good stuff that from Ishak. Coach just calls for calm. Good recovery has to be said after that. Captain's fault. So Greco needs to dig deep again. 
First serve is long. Option to go with the head for that one. This one will come potentially from the knee. We've seen a few serves. No, it's from the head this time. Jack out wide in a good position to smash. Oh, and it's a fault. A legal attack. So the point goes away of Greco, and we're seeing mistakes from both sides here. Ishak is known for uh, for taking chances, but maybe a few too many in this situation. It's uh, nervy. I mean, she might have challenged there, you know, James. She hasn't done, but it was a very close call. And it went in favour of the American to tie it up at 9-9 in the women's singles final. Really, really important part of this match now. Every point so crucial. And both these players will know it. Greco finds the middle of the table. Ishak looking to become a two-times world champion after winning in Glavica last year. Really clever play that there from Greco. Ishak lunges forward to try and get it back. Yeah, a little harvester didn't give Ishak enough room to work with. If you watch the replay, you'll see she's just a little too far away and could only stab it over or try to stab it over. It hit the net and a timeout has been called at a crucial time in the women's world championship singles final. Yeah, you feel that this timeout is beneficial to both players. Ishak needs something to to change here because she is potentially just two points away from defeat. Carolyn Greco is just a couple of points away from victory. We are really, really at the tight end of this women's singles final. Jack went into this as the favourite, world number one See, I, I defending didn't think champion. So. I mean, yeah, the statistics in terms of defending champion, but I think Greco has been playing better on tour, and I think the fact she's had a couple of European tournaments, chosen to stay here, I think she was fully focused on this, and also in the doubles with her partner, Osmondson, who we'll see a little later. But And Ijak looks very tense there, doesn't she? She almost looks defeated in her body language, doesn't she? She's taking on board everything her coach is saying, but you do wonder... This could be Carolyn Greco's year. Carol is having deep conversations with Frankie Diaz, you can see there. She comes from the Western United States. Ijak's just come away from her corner, as you can see now on your screen, and comes from the western part of Hungary, Lake Balaton area, not that far away from the Slovenian, Croatian and Austrian borders. Will Hungary get another title and retain the crown, or will it go west to the United States? We'll find out in just a couple of points time whether we're going to go to a deciding set or whether it is Greco that sees it out in two. Ishak with the smash. Greco heads it back into play. The nerves will be jangling. Oh, that's brilliant from Ishak. That is just what the coaches asked for. They're up on their feet as well. And they level the score as a team and as an individual. Ten points all. Ishak is not done yet. In this 4,000 arena, brand new arena, I think they'll be hoping that we'll have a decisive point at 11 all in a couple of points' time. Let's see. Oh, it's a really good serve that. Greco has the opportunity for VAR. She chooses not to. I thought that looked good, to be honest. And it now moves to set points. That timeout has done what it was needed to do for Ishak. Are we going to go to a deciding set? Ishak serving to take it. Greco to stay alive, up high. Greco heads into the middle. Ishak will set herself out wide for the smash. Greco's ready for it. Left foot, right knee, shouldered back onto play. That's really, really good stuff from the American. Ishak still in command in this rally, but Greco just manages to force her opponent a little bit further back, and Ishak drops it short. A chance now for Greco to mount an attack. There's the smash. Ishak is there and ready, and heads the ball back into play. Momentum is switched though. Greco is now the more aggressive of the two players. But Ishak with the smash is into the side. Set point save. And that sets up a dramatic set point, match point, double whammy. 11 all. Next point wins the set for the world title or to send us into a deciding set in the World Championship women's singles match. It doesn't get more dramatic than this. This is tech ball. Enjoy the ride. Here we go then. Ishak serving at match point and set point. All in one. In comes the serve from Ashak. First one is into the net. Greco celebrates it like a mini win. She knows she can put more pressure now on the second serve. In comes the serve from Ashak. At the back of the table. Greco out wide. Heads the ball short. And that is indeed that. Greco has done it. Dreams do come true. She is the world champion for the first time in the women's singles. She embraces Frankie Diaz, her coach. She is the world champion and has done it dramatically. She's taken the crown away from Anna and Jack. Wow, what an end to what a brilliant final that was. Carolyn Greco has done it. She is 
the women's singles tech ball world champion. And what a dramatic story. And you have to say, she's such a likeable woman, Caroline Greco. She gives it all. She's such a happy character and celebrating to the fans. And a warm ovation, even though a lot of them here might have been favouring the Hungarian, the nation which gave birth to this dramatic sport. But the United States has embraced it. And Caroline Greco says thanks to the crowd here inside the brand new Kia Metropol Arena. In Nuremberg, the £40 million venue, and the champion is defeated. Well, a touch of class there from Frankie Diaz, who goes over to the Hungarian team to commiserate them. But it's all about Karen and Greco, and you're seeing the replay there of match point. The moment she realised she's done it, she's made her dreams come true. Has spoken in the past about wanting to win World Championship medals, and she has done it. And there are your stats over the match. Second point serves were 100% from Carolyn Greco. That's a really quite incredible statistic. That is over the whole match. And Carolyn Greco, an absolute icon in this sport. An inspiration for female players and male players alike from around the world. Let's hope it inspires more girls and young women to try and uh, take up this fantastic sport. This is Tech Ball. Here are the highlights. Oh.